Hello, hello, beautiful, magical people. Today, I got my first metaphysical witchy subscription box for the month of May. This is the Canadian subscription box, Hegswag. $64 a month includes your shipping. Um, there's always some kind of coupon code you can find online to like take that cost down a bit. But like I said in my last video, when it comes to shipping, Canadian shipping is super expensive. So yes, they do include it in the cost of the box, but I never look at it as, I don't know, excuse me, had a hiccup. Um, I know it costs a lot to ship in Canada. So when I look, and I actually do not usually nitpick on prices or value a box unless it's really bad, unless it's really bad. Because what's put in these boxes is a curated box for magical intentions or metaphysical properties of the items. And they usually are on point with me at least for something I need. And if you were to go out and source these items yourself separately, you're taking your time, you're possibly taking more money than what this would cost you. And this is just an all in one. You can look month to month and see if it's like a theme you are interested in if that's what you choose to do, but it's a good curation of an amazing little box. And I like this one. I have had no problems with the box, the contents. I mean, things have come broken. I have no problems with customer service. They are on it. They are on point. Like they have twice now I've had issues with something in my box and they have promptly resent items back to me or to me. And I really appreciate that kind of customer service in in any kind of purchase I make online like it's it's great anyway I'm kind of salivating right now because my kombucha is like highly vinegary because I let it do its fermentation a little too long but it tastes so good I haven't done kombucha in over a year and I am loving that I'm starting up with it again it's just great for you great for your body so on to the Hag Swag May box I did not look up anything as far as this box goes. I did not look up any spoilers. I think all I saw was it has something to do with trees. I saw that in one of my um, other YouTubers that I watch. I saw it in their thumbnail. So let's just get into this box. So I'm trying to be a little proactive today. Got my glasses on, ready for the box. This is the box. Of course, on the one size is Side, it says I am a child of the Sun and the moon and even though I have been born into this world my race is of the stars these boxes are just so stinking cute and I just love them for that I'm not going to show you the top because it's got my address on it that's why I showed you the bottom and it's sealed up all nice and I am so excited like I have my witch's roots on its way which will probably end up coming next Tuesday because we're, I'm not sure if North America is long weekend, May long, or if it's just a Canadian thing, but we're May long weekend, so it's a holiday on Monday, and it won't come till Tuesday, sadly. But I got this one, so I'm happy. So on the inside, it also has a quote, which says, the moon has awoken with the sleep of the sun, the light has been broken, the spell has begun. Very, very cute little quotes and are saying so here we go yes it is tree it's called tree magic I like this card I almost want to like do something with this so tree magic and it says hag swag offerings on the card on the back it has the items that are within it and do you know what if you want to do a spoiler and check it out and pause and read have at her but I won't read it. So here's the grimoire page, which is Tree Spirit Journey. Continuing with the trees is easier than one may think. With practice and dedication, we're able to sit in communication with the spirits of the trees. Now, I've had a few conversations with a friend of mine while we're sitting at back, and I have this large, I believe it's a Chinese elm tree. It's just big and it's beautiful. And I often, when I'm in my oasis, I just lean back and just look up into the branches watch the trees waving as it like crosses the sky and i just love that tree i could never even think about chopping off any of the big branches even though it would benefit my gardens to have a little bit more sunshine but i just can't do it i just 
it's a tree, it's life. I can't just, although I did trim one little branch the other day, but that's the one that would knock me in the head continuously if I was mowing lawn. And you can't pin back tree branches like you do your own hair. So anyway, I'm go I'm not sure what this is. I think this is just a meditation type of thing, but I will hold that up for you. Also, I'm still wishing there had been a January grimoire page. Like I'm not understanding why there wasn't. So if you want to read that, just pause. I wonder if I can get it any closer for you. It is very, um, I find the font on this box really hard to read most days. Here we have some kind of life circle of trees and mountains. It says YGG Dressel. It might be a tree of life type of sticker. Really cute though. I like that. I'm sure it'll tell me what that is. And then the rest of these cards, I'm not going to read because it is going to tell me what's in the box. And this time, I don't want to know. Now, I don't know if this is because they had so many broken cups last month and I've heard of a lot of people whose mugs were busted in trans transit, transit, transportation. But this is solid. This is a solid. Oh, nice. First thing I'm pulling out is a tree of life wooden placard and it is from the witch down the lane i've seen a few of this um company's products in other people's unboxings so exactly what this is i don't know but it's beautiful i really like that the next thing i'm pulling out and i hope it's a candle because i've been missing candles Ooh, the forest witch soy candle and of course it's got a whole lot of beautiful going on in there and it smells amazing and I've been running out of candles. So last month when it seemed like nobody but the witch's roots had a candle in their box, I was like, where are the candles? But do you know what? Let's read a few of these. I'm gonna try to, here. The witch down the lane, tree of life, oh sorry, altar board. I have a tickle on my neck. Tree of life, altar board. Celtic tree or Celtic tree, however you wanna say it, Laser engraved at altar board on a on five inch pine. This tree of life is a fundamental widespread mytheme and archetype in many ways the world's mythologies. And many of the world's mythologies, religious and philo philosophical traditions. It is closely related to the concept of the sacred tree connecting to heaven and the underworld. The tree of life connecting all forms of creation are both. Oh, I'm sorry. This is just so hard for me to read. It's such a tiny font and I'm in a kind of darkish room, although it doesn't seem like it, but I am. Um, connecting all forms of creations are both forms of the world tree and the cosmic tree and are portrayed as various religions and philosophies as the same tree. Oh, connecting the heaven and the underworld. See, I missed half a sentence there, but this is that whole as above and so below. That's what the tree of life kind of represents. And then this candle, see if I can pick it out. Here we go, Hag Swag, Forced Witch Candle. Why not open it up for you and show it to you that way because it's, I don't know what's in here, but it just, again, a familiar scent and I'm hoping the write-up says what it is. The Hag Swag Forced Witch Candle, a hand poured soy candle scented with a blend of balsam pine. There we go, the pine is what I was smelling aromic cedar leaf and juniper berries topped with oak, oak topped with oak moss <laughs> oh my goodness barks birch and patchouli always keep your candles burning in it on a heat safe surface to not be left unattended and of course be safe i had a house fire not because of a candle in 2009 you know just reached that 12 year anniversary of that house fire and it Believe me, it's nothing nobody ever wants to go through in life. It really hits you hard and it continues to, depending on the circumstances mostly, but when you have a pretty bad house fire, you do lose a lot of your life. You just do. So I'm opening up this baggie and we're gonna see what's in here. So this says dried incense, burn on charcoal, Oh, I hope they gave me charcoal. I do not have charcoal, but I do have a cauldron to burn such things in. Birch, oak, willow, cedar, patchouli, and ash. 
cute, cute little bottle or container. Their packaging or their sourcing is always great. Like they do find a lot of, smells very woodsy, like you would expect it to. So I read to you what's in there and let's see how far I can tip it without losing some. There we go. That's as far as we're going with that. I'm not going to push my luck on that. Let's see, Hag Swag Dryad Incense. And I just had it here. Used during plant or tree magic in druid workings to honor nature and the changing of seasons. Burn on charcoal discs in a heat proof dish or cauldron. Use in a well -vented, ventilated space. The loose incense contains birch, oak, ash, willow, cedar, brandy, and patchouli. I don't think it said brandy on here. No, it didn't. So good thing I read up on that. And the next thing we're pulling out of this box of goodies is, oh, let's just do this. Hawthorne is the herb of the month. And my dog is barking at the window again. So what does it say about this in here? I'm going to give it a sniff because I just got to smell everything. I just want to smell it all. Really doesn't have... It smells woodsy like everything else, so... Hawthorne. Let's see if I can find it on here. Hawthorne herb is a sacred... Tr Oh, the hawthorn is a sacred tree in many pagan religions. The blossoms, called mayflowers, are used in, sing in spring celebrations. The maypole is traditionally made of hawthorn and decorated with hawthorn flowers. As a tree is sacred to fairies, one must ask permission before taking the blooms or, sp or sprigs and must certainly leave an offering when cutting down a whole tree. Placing around doors and windows, hawthorn will prevent people from entering your home in an astral state. It will also prevent spirits from entering a place. This is the second time we received a really good um, herb for exactly that purpose. So I'm happy about that. Excuse me. The one thing about kombucha also, it does like give you cotton mouth because it's so vinegary. It's so like acidic. It dries out your mouth fast. So we'll just use it to wet the whistle a little bit. And the next thing I'm pulling out is some kind of roller. Let's see what this is. Druid's Groove Perfume, and it is just straight out a perfume. And it's got all sorts of herbs and botanicals going on in there. Maybe I shouldn't do that. You can probably see it better with the light. So that's cool. I love things that are infused with herbs and botanicals. So this here, my friends, is the Druid's Groove perfume. And what does it say? A Hag Swag Druid's. There we go. I just had it, of course. And then I look up and then I lose it. And here we go. Hag Swag Druid's Grave or Grave Grove. See, that's my problem with reading this. Grove perfume, a natural perfume roll on featuring trees of, of the sacred grove. Cedar birch, apple, and fir oil join pieces of white willow bark and cedar bark. 10 ml roll on bottle, apply as needed. So let's just let's just do a pulse point application. See, this is something you could definitely. Oh, it actually smells kind of sweet. Oh, that is, smells really pretty. I was expecting something woodsy again because I think a roller that I got from that Owl Crate or something had gotten from the States that I didn't go for a second on. I think that one had a roller and that one smelled woodsy. This smells beautiful. I and then that. we have a tincture bottle here. We have a dropper bottle, which is the White Willow Bark. Salix Abba Tincture. And I don't know if there's anything in there, but we will see. It doesn't look like it. Let's smell it first. Why not? I got so much going on in my body right now. If I don't do it this way, I probably won't smell it past myself. 
So we have gone on day two of thunderstorms. Right now it's gotten clear-ish outside. It's not clear, but it's not dark, dark. Otherwise this video would be taking on a whole different lighting issue anyway. So it's a very light smell. I'm not sure exactly what it smells like, but once again, let's read the write up and let's see what it smells like. You probably all know if you paused and read what it said, but. Um, Earth and alchemy, white willow tincture, also known as white willow, tree of enchantment, and which is aspirin. One or once of the seven sacred trees of the Irish, the Druid sacred tree. I'm going the wrong way here. There we go. A little bit that way, a little bit this way. There we go. Okay, so say uh, once of the seven sacred trees of the Irish, a Druid. A druid sacred tree the willow of the moon tree sacred to the white lady its groves were considered magical that priests priestesses and all types of artisans artisans sorry sat among these trees to gain eloquence inspiration skills and prophecies nice so exactly like what do we use this for it's called the witch's aspirin so i guess i'll have to look that up it would have been nice to have that explained a little bit Oh no, it says on the bottle. So also known as witch's aspirin, white willow has many uses. White willow has a very similar effect as commercial aspirin, relieving general pain, headaches, and inflammation. So, but it doesn't also say if you, I mean, it's a tincture, right? You can take it, you can put it in your mouth. So what else have we got? We got another little container oh my gosh it's a balm cold pressed olive oil beeswax cottonwood bud extract cedarwood oil vitamin e soy lectin and that's all it says on there mm, and there's a little piece of something woodsy in there i am liking the medicinal side of this box this is awesome so awesome so hagswag balm of guild gilead the oil made from the buds of this natural antibiotic and anti-inflammatory, helpful for muscle soreness, headaches, arthritis, carpal tunnel, uh, psoriasis, eczema, bruising and swelling. This balm is vegan and 100% natural. Use on problematic or sore skin as needed. Do you know what? I'm wearing this because I have some muscle pain here. And I do believe I must have banged myself. It feels really sore here. So sore there without a bruise yet. I'm going to put some on there and see how this works. That's my glasses. Oh, <laughs> too far down. And then I just basically push it into my eyeballs. So it's a very smooth, of course it's got the oils in there, right? We'll see how that works. Cause I'm sure I have a bruised muscle right there for, from whatever I did. So I'm wearing my arm thing. Cause I know I'm just not sure what I did. Okay. So I know for sure we've got one more thing in here and that would be our stone, which is a beautiful raw piece of rough tree agate. Nice. So here it is. I'll show you first. Sometimes I need both hands to give you a good. A very nice piece. I really like that. So what does it say about this? Rough Triagate. The stone is purported, not reported, purported. If I look at this later and read something else, I'm going to feel like a fool. So just don't mind me when that day or moment comes. Anyway, the stone is purported to have the power to cure poison, especially from bites and stings, soothe the mind, prevent the spread of disease, calm, rough weather, promote eloquence, help ensure the good will of others and grant victory. Placed on the head of a sleeper, a gate uh, induces fantastic dreams. It is also used for charms, for love, of course, mental clarity and good luck in card games. The tree gate stone can be used in the Celtic or Druid magic due to the importance of the trees and the nature of the Celtic lore and the Druid tradition. Oh my goodness, I think I was losing you there with the stone, but I love that. But I guess it's got a flat enough surface when I'm lying. And that, ooh, it's got sparkles in there, of course. It's got some sparkles. I don't know if it's gonna show. 
tip it around. So if I were to fall asleep and be able to lay on my back, which I have a very hard time doing, I'm a side sleeper. I could just like, you're gonna tell me I'm gonna have fantastic dreams? <laughs> Maybe. We'll try it though. I'll try it at nap time. Nap times I seem to be able to lie on my back a little bit easier than sleeping at night. Sleeping at night is always a challenge in anybody's world. Apparently, according to this baby, and I did that just so the thing would flip on because I'm absolutely loving my Amazon smartwatch that is so equivalent to a Samsung. Unbelievable. So anyway, oh, and I did have the cards here. So which is down, which down the lane? This is their business card. And they made that um, beautiful placard, the Tree of Life placard, which is right here. And we have got, maybe I'll just read that right away too. Might be no different than what I read on the thing, but no, this, I love their little cards too. These are perfect for putting into your book of shadows or whatever kind of journaling you're doing and rough tree gate. So I will tell you though, the element is earth and the planet is mercury. But everything else, it says on here too, purported. So I guess that's a word. I'm totally going to Google that thing after this. Anyway, I hope you're all having an amazing day, evening, weekend, morning, afternoon, wherever you're at in the world when you watch my video. Thanks so much again for joining me in this little adventure of the Hag Swag box. Seriously, if you haven't already, at least try this subscription. I know to the States, like it has that price tag, but like I said, you can often find coupon codes. Um, and I think it's $10 to the States extra on the shipping. And then oh, a few bucks more extra or more, maybe it's double that to international. But you know what? It's a beautiful box. I absolutely have loved every single one of them that I've gotten, so yeah. I do hope you're having a great day, like I said before, and do like, subscribe, comment below. Definitely comment. I love hearing from people. I love feedback on things. If you've gotten this box, let me know what you thought of it. Maybe, you know, I, I know it's not different, but just let me know what you thought about it and, and we'll have a little conversation on that. Yes. Yeah. Have a great weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.